Hi, in this video I'm going to do a quick guide on an Electrolux induction hob. Model number up on screen here, but a similar process may apply to other models. So on this one here we have four zones to cook on. One, two, three, four, with the corresponding controls. So the heat settings here are for this one, this one's here, this one's here, bottom left is here. So that's all self-explanatory. It goes from zero, which is off, to nine. And then the B ones here are a power function. So each zone will give us a different heat setting. So without using the power function, we've got this one here is going to be 1800 watts, 2400 watts, 1400 watts, and 1800 watts. But yet when we use the power function, which is this B1 here that I like to call boost, it will then go up to 2,800 watts, 3,700 watts, 2,500 watts, and 2,800 watts. And it really does boil very, very quick. Now, if you see this little symbol here, that means that one of the zones is hot. So because it's next to this one here, it means that this zone here is hot. So although it's an induction hob and it heats up and cools down very quickly, it is still possible for it to be too hot to touch and you may burn yourself. So that's a little warning symbol there. So right now this one here is hot. So to turn it on, we just need to hit the power button here. And then for example, if you wanna start cooking on this zone here, it's top left. So we can go between one and nine. And this one here, we'll put to number six, for example. If you go to hit one of the others with nothing on it, after a little while, you will see a question mark will come up next to them because it recognizes that there's nothing on there. So you can see a question mark here and now a question mark here. So when you see that, we're now gonna turn those ones off because there's no pans on there. Now let's say if you want it to boil something very quickly, watch the power function here when I go to here, B. It will start flashing here and uh, watch how quick, you can hear it sounds different. Watch how quick that will start heating up there. Look at that. Now bear in mind it was already warm but look at that, you can really see the power behind that. And then we can just put it back to normal. It won't stay on that setting forever. It lasts on that setting for 10 minutes. And then when you finish cooking, all we've got to do is go down to zero and zero, or we can simply just turn it off. And then when we go to turn it back on again, you can see everything is gonna be off here. Now, if you want to set child lock on it, what we can do is, that's what this little lock's for here. We can turn it on and we can hold this down for four seconds. And now we can turn it off and then nobody will be able to accidentally do anything here. So you can see you can turn it on, but when you go to press the buttons, nothing's happening. Now to deactivate the child lock, we need to turn it off. And then when we turn it back on, we hold down the lock for four seconds. One and two and three and four. And now turn it off. And now the child lock will be off all the time. And when we turn it on, we can operate it again. If you want to lock the settings just while you're cooking so you don't accidentally change it, you can just tap the lock button here and you see the light will come on. And can you see now, I can't change any settings on anything. Yeah, so these two are still off and I can't change the settings here because the lock's on here. If I tap the lock again, it will now allow me to change it. Now, when it comes to the timer, we've got a little timer function here. You can press it there and it will flash here for bottom left. Hit it again, it will be top left, top right, and bottom right and it will actually turn it off so if we go to here and set it for two minutes it will go all the way up to 99 minutes it will now count down from two minutes and it will turn this off automatically and there we go can you see it's turned this one off it hasn't turned this one off and it's making a sound as well to cancel the sound just hit the clock again and there we go. And if you wonder what stop and go does, it puts each zone that's in use down to its lowest setting. So these two are not in use, so they're gonna remain on zero, but these two will both go to one. So watch this, press that down, you see the light will come up here. That's now number one, that's now number one. The idea is it will keep it warm until you're ready to come back and start cooking again. When you hit stop and go again, it will revert back to the previous settings. So that's it, a quick guide on the Electrolux induction hob. Obviously it does more things than just that, but that's enough to get you started. And the great thing is it's nice and easy to clean up when you're finished as well. Thanks for watching.